Hi guys. Hi. So today we're going to talk about alternate day fasting. And the reason we're talking about it is it's something that we wanted to really focus on in 2020 is increasing our fasting because mm -hmm. fasting has slipped by the wayside a bit in 2019. Yeah, for sure. And there's definitely a lot of different ways people do alternate day fasting. So there are some people who do it exactly how it sounds. <laughs> Eat one day, not eat the next day, eat one day. So, so alternate day fasting is days where you don't eat. Yes, um, but a, a, also a very popular way to do it is not to eat Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So only to eat Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Now we really liked the idea of that option because it gave us both days on the weekend to be eating because it can be challenging, like we would find it challenging to be fasting if we're involved social. in social activities. It's really difficult. If you've got social activities, some people can do it, but we can't do it. Yes. So we, we wanted to do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday option, but we also wanted to give ourselves a little bit of flexibility. So what we decided to go with, because we want to make it like achievable and something that we can maintain rather than doing it one week. And, and then, then once it's failed, we kind of roll into... It's failed, so we yeah. failed kind of thing. So we have been doing an hourly kind of fasting target. So For we a week. set the hours at 120 fasted hours a week, which means we would need to do two 36-hour fasts, so two days where we don't eat. But then it gives us a bit of flexibility on the other days. If we have social commitments that we could work in one meal a day, etc so we've chosen different days to do the 36 hour um, day fasts each week because we just sit down map out what our week is and mm -hmm. go okay well it looks like monday and wednesday this week is good for us or wednesday and friday is good for us and then we try and do maybe a 24 hour in there somewhere yeah so i guess if we talk about what we've done in the last week yes. so we knew on tuesday night we were meeting up with some friends for dinner and we wanted to be able to eat and also on thursday night we had a family birthday dinner so we knew that we wanted to eat those two nights so what we chose to do this week was on monday we did a 24 hour fast which meant that we only had dinner on monday and then Tuesday we had we had like a normal eating window, two or three meals, so that we could have dinner with our friends. And then Wednesday we didn't eat all day Wednesday, so that was from dinner time after we finished dinner with our friends on Tuesday through to Thursday morning we fasted, which was about 37 hours, I think. And then we ate on Thursday and we had dinner, you know, a family dinner celebration for a birthday on Thursday night. After that, we started fasting again and we fasted from Thursday night through to Saturday morning, which was about 38, 38 hours. And then on the weekends, we just have, you know, two or three meals, depending on how we are. When um, we eat, we've been keeping it keto. Yes. When we're not eating, we're not eating. Yeah, um, basically. <laughs> Also, a lot of questions come up around what we consume when we're fasting. Yes. We don't, I don't consume anything with calories at all. Mm -hmm. I have black tea and I have um, just sparkling water if I want um, something different, but just standard water. Yes. So I also have tea, like just plain black tea. I have um, sparkling water. I do have occasional, like the one with the flavoring in it. It's not sweetened, but the flavored mineral water. I have one of those in, a, a day, like as my little treat. Um, and in my coffee, I do have a splash of cream, which would be one to two teaspoons. And I'm okay with that. Some people... Some people would say that's not fasting, but for us, that's what's achievable for Erica because she's got to have a coffee and she yeah, can't drink Yeah, and it would be less than 50 calories. So it's very very negligible um so yeah i'm still okay with that and what we have found is really important for us is electrolytes and we need to have probably more than we ever thought that we had and i think when we fasted before we found it difficult as far as feeling headachey or lightheaded it's electrolytes that was the problem and i just wasn't having as much as i thought so one of the electrolytes, we take this every day in the morning. We just have one scoop of this and a scoop of salt. So a little like 
quarter teaspoon of salt mixed up in some water and we have that every day regardless so fasting or keto we're having this but what we have found has been really useful is using these fasting drops from keto chow in our water unfortunately they're difficult to get in australia we got these when we we're in the us but honestly they have been a game changer for us so actually you just need to have this small tiny bottle with you and this one cap full of these drops goes into my big water bottle this is very large i don't know how big it is it's big <laughs> So I have a cap full of this in my water bottle every time I fill it up during my fast and it has made it's a helped. huge difference to how I feel while fasting. I now understand people who are like, I feel great. Yeah, it's electrolytes, guys. Mm. <laughs> we do, it does change the flavor of your water a little, a little bit, bit, but it's salty. not too bad. A little bit salty. And it definitely has made a difference. Um, on the smaller bottle, it tells you, depending on the size of your water bottle, how much yes. to put in. So yeah. it gives you and a And you guide. can fill this little bottle up from this bottle. So this is so easy to have, like, in your I take mine water. to work. Yeah. And I just fill up, whenever I put water in my water bottle, I just put a, not quite a full cap full, because my water bottle's smaller. Yeah, so but. we're drinking our electrolyte water. All day. Sparkling water, and tea. tea. And I have one coffee. So we have we like to track our fasting um just so we can i would forget when we started and when we stopped so we use an app called life might not be able to see it but no but it's a very good app if you search life fasting in the in your um, app store you will find it i'm pretty sure it's across apple and android and we have a fasting circle as well so if you search have butter will travel you will find our fasting circle if you're into fasting join it and you can just see that there's other people doing fasting with you it's not like there's interaction or anything but it just helps you know other people are doing it yeah and it's very easy to use you literally just do start, start fast and, stop. and then end fast and then it keeps a tally for you and tells you how long you've been fasting the other cool thing about that app is that you can um edit the start and finish time if, if you, you forget, forget. <laughs> which we do <laughs> other tracking that we've been doing we are not weighing weighing has become a real it really brings us down if we have done this fasting for with this we're on to our second week of doing this and if we haven't lost weight it all feels like we've done it for nothing and it's not the reason that we're mm -hmm. doing it and so we are not getting on the scales and we haven't gotten on the scales for a while but what we are doing is we're measuring our ketones and our blood glucose. And man, I can get some high, high, high ketones. This morning, so we fasted through to um, it's Saturday now. We fasted through to the morning. I tested before we finished and I had 5.1 ketones and 3.7 blood glucose. Now, Erica will say it's important if the blood glucose is low is that the ketones are high. Yes, and also just how you feel. Like yeah. If you feel okay. And I felt fine. Not, don't panic, don't panic. Yeah. But yeah, we've definitely been tracking our ketones and blood glucose. And it has been interesting to see, even on the days when we've been eating keto, if perhaps we've eaten a bit more carbs than we had of before, I think the fasting is helping us stay in ketosis, yeah. which has been interesting we've to We've been both maintaining keto, like ketosis, through the whole two weeks that we've been um, tracking and fasting and keeping it all keto. Yeah. So what have been the positives about this change in our alternate day fasting style? Um, I would say this is probably the easy, I've tried fasting a lot of times before and really struggled with it. I think having more electrolytes has made a big difference in how much easier I'm finding it. Yes, I can be a little bit hungry at times, but if I'm feeling good, then I'm okay. And yeah, I've been feeling great, more energy. Like yesterday, we were both just in such <laughs> awesome moods. It was it Honestly, was really we could run a marathon, it felt like. <laughs> Maybe not, but... Let's not get carried away <laughs> there. But we've been feeling really good, so that's definitely been a positive. Yes. The flexibility of the style we've adopted has been really important yes. for us. Yes. Not feeling like we've failed is really, really important for us. And being able to achieve it 
Yes, and I think if difference. we'd been locked into, we have to fast Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then, oh, we've got something Friday night, oh, the whole week's yes. out. Yeah, exactly. And we don't, we're not people who want to go to a social event and not eat. We just That's can't. just not us. No. So, you know, obviously if that's you, all power to you. And I think, yeah, it's definitely give us that flexibility as far as social events and then on the weekend. On the weekend, we would generally find it more difficult to fast just because at work you're distracted you're busy you know so it's, and it's the weekend so you want to like yeah relax, relax. Yeah. <laughs> um it's also gotten easier over time mm -hmm. the more times we've done a 36 hour fast the better we've felt mm -hmm. the stronger we've felt and the less hungry we've felt i yeah, think for sure and doing the fasting is meaning even when i'm eating i'm less hungry yes. like it's definitely squashed down my appetite compared to when i'm not fasting i've actually found um the days that we're eating harder to restrict than the days that i'm not eating because mm, black and white yeah yeah because i'm just not eating so it's easier i will say the meal prep has <laughs> been very yes. easy particularly this last week dan had some long travel days for work and she was fasting so i didn't need to send her off with you know <laughs> big bags full of food to get me through the day Ah, so that's good. And we have saved money. a fair bit of money on our grocery shopping, which has been interesting. We're literally like, do we, we go grocery shopping? shopping? <laughs> like, we just kind of eat out of the freezer on the eating days. And yeah, that's been, that's been a nice bonus. Have you found anything challenging or negative about it? Um, for me, probably on the days when you don't eat at all, that c I can find that like a mental challenge where I'm sort of having to think of like, it's okay. Like I just keep telling myself, it's okay, I can eat tomorrow. Like it's not like I'm ravenous, but it's just such a habit. And, you know, it's just a, it's a mental game. I really think it's a it mental is. game. And the more you do it, the stronger that mental game becomes. I think you yes. become stronger at it. Yeah, exactly. And the better you feel, the easier it is to kind Keep of maintain motivated. that motivation. I will say for me on the fasting days, I do sometimes struggle a bit with sleep. I don't know what that is about, if it's just because my ketones are higher or something, but I noticed like last night I didn't sleep as well as I usually do, which is just an interesting observation. When I'm up at that high level Five, of one. ketones, my breath is horrid. <laughs> and you have keto dreams. And I have keto dreams. <laughs> they're probably two of the negatives, but they're, I'm just going to have to figure those out. Um, I just deal with the keto dreams. That's fine. They're very vivid. And I remember everything when I wake up. Um, the keto breath is a bit more of an issue, but I'll just have to kind of keep on top of that as best as I can. And the, the other thing, sorry, we didn't add in the positive yeah. was the time. Oh, yeah, there's you so know much more what, time. how much time you have if you don't have to, like, cook dinner, eat dinner, wash up. It's just like, oh, okay, like what? Like on my lunch break from work, I'm like... She's cleaning the house, guys. <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> so it's she so feels weird. good. And she's got nothing to do. <laughs> Clean the house. One of the weird um, things that I've just realized with the negative side of it is we do enjoy things like going to the farmer's market, but Ooh, we're not eating enough to justify yeah, going to true. the farmer's market. So farmer's market here is on a Sunday. The Newcastle farmer's market is a really good market. It's awesome. And we haven't been because we're just not I know. Eating. We were like, will we go to the market tomorrow? And it's like, well, we're only eating on Tuesday and we'll go, we're, we're going eating to trivia. Now. Yeah. So we're not going to be, we'll only be having, and then we're going away. So, but yeah, that's, that's a true bit of a shame. Yeah. I'm sure that will come back in, but yeah. it's just something a bit trivial. Wouldn't suit, wouldn't be a negative for everyone, but it is for us. Anyway, we just wanted to share our experience with, you know, what we're calling alternate day fasting. Just, you know, just to let you know, it doesn't have to be strict rules. Do what works for you. This is working for us. And that's because we've allowed ourselves flexibility. flexibility. Don't feel like you have to be stuck into the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or, you know, every other day. Do what works for you. And we're still, you know, achieving the over 120 hours easily by incorporating two 36-hour fasts And usually a 24. Week. Yeah, and then like a one where it's one meal a day where it's 20 to 24 hours. And then um, there's one that's at least 12 or a little bit longer at some point. So, yeah. Um, we always are going to say in all of our videos that you watch like this, 
It is about what works for you. You do not have to fast. You can do intermittent fasting, alternate day fasting, extended fasting, whatever works for you. If you found this video useful, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for loads more content about keto, keto recipes and fasting. just us. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye. Bye.